It's time, guys. It's time. In T minus one minute, it will finally be time for the Pokemon Go Fest. I have prepared, I have over prepared. I have slots for 200 Pokemon. I have slots for 300 items. I am ready. I'm as ready as I can ever, ever be. I've got water. I've got food. I'm ready for my very first and possibly only Pokemon Go Fest. We are live. Not live, but it is time for the fest. It has begun. Let's start. Woo! Now, it sounds like there might be a little bit of issues with the rotation. Hopefully, that doesn't um, affect this too much. I'm going to move this over here because I'm sure I'm going to get messages and I might want you guys to see it I don't know anyways Pokemon Go Fest has begun I got my cap I got my glasses just in case it gets sunny and I got my mask just in case it gets crowded <laughs> I'm only wearing some of this stuff it is if it's absolutely 100% necessary Willow, my man, what is up on this beautiful day? Welcome to Pokemon Go Fest 2020. Brent Brushworks, sorry, said that wrong. Go Fest this year is a little bit different from previous years, which I've never been to one, but it will be just as fun and challenging. I've noticed an amazing phenomenon. It seems as though different Pokemon are appearing in the area on which seems an hourly basis. I need your help collecting data on this situation. I thought it would be fun to give you some tasks to help you research this phenomenon. I am more than okay with that. I'll make sure you get a reward for your hard work. Don't delay since different Pokemon seem to be appearing each hour. You have limited time to complete these tasks. You can see the trainer's progress by checking the Global Challenge Arena. To help with your research, be sure to use incense to attract Pokemon. Remember, you can activate several instances at once and have them attract Pokemon to you for hours. Incense smells amazing, doesn't it? It brings a smile to my face knowing that millions of trainers around the world are working together right now because of their shared love of Pokemon. Furthermore, I've been sensing a great energy that has filled me with hope and determination. Gosh dang it, Willow. Have you been feeling it as well? I wonder where it's connected to the strange happenings that kicked off our research this weekend. I have a feeling today's just the beginning of an exciting adventure for two whole days. Woo! We'll have another fun-filled day tomorrow. For now, I'm going to start looking into this situation. Perhaps it's related to a powerful Pokemon. Now, Brent Brushworks, I'm sure you know that I what I'm going to say next. Let's go! Alright, here we go. Take snapshot of buddy. Use incense catch fire type Pokemon. Oops, I forgot the buddy. Uh, sorry, Dance. I kind of want to switch to someone else. I'm so sorry. Maybe I'll switch to you next time, but... There's only one partner for me. My most favorite of all Pokemon. Not Shiny Tepig, not Gudra. No, it would be my Bayleaf Chicory. Although I absolutely love Shiny Tepig and Gudra. And Shiny Charizard and Lapras and all those others. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong with that. Boy, I used the incense way too early. I'm missing out. Okay, come on, Chicory. Let's make this quick. Let's take a good photo by the fountain. Oh man, I forgot my stupid camera freezes. Credit uh, 111111. What is that, code? I doubt Niantic put it in. Alright, Chicory. Smile for me and say, Go Fest! Go Fest! Oh my gosh, Wash Tom already. 
This is turning out good already, isn't it? Okay, let's move this pathetic excuse for a picture out of the way. Bring the camera back. All right, we're back. I'm live. I gotta stop saying live like I'm actually live because that's not the case. Boss Road Tom, let's start off with you. Let's go. Come. Boss Road Tom found. Oh my gosh, you were. Oh. Oh. Do I, I have to use a horn? Really, though? That's, that's rude. Okay, I've barely ever done this. It ran away perfect. Oh, wait, no, no, okay. I just gotta chuck that Pokeball really fast. Woo! I'm kinda surprised I did that. Yes, I know I'm in a safe location. Are you, are you serious? But I threw the, I threw the Ultra Ball. How'd that not count? Oh my gosh. No, we actually fled that time. Ooh, that's gonna be stupid tricky. No, stop. Turn AR off, okay? I really, 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 absolutely, 100%, positively, absolutely, don't want to be stuck using AR. Thank you. This is not going well so far. But this is only the beginning. So. Let's uh, keep traveling. If I have to move my face just to leave a Pokemon bow, I will. Washro Tom. I feel like I'm going to have to get that one on my own. Okay. Lots of Oshawas. You know what I want? I want shiny Unova Pokemon. Can we do that one, Niantic? Can we please do that one? I would truly, absolutely, 100% appreciate it. Shiny Blitz, Shiny Superior, I already forgot the name of. Absolutely. Shiny Oshawott too, if I get lucky. But I definitely want my Shiny Tepic already. You. I'm ignoring you. Screw off. No way. I'm not doing this. No freaking way. Okay, I think I saw a Pikachu from the corner of my eye. I need to get out of this Poliwag fight quickly. Because I think that was a special Pikachu. I think. I barely got to see it at all, but... Unknown! Yes! The crown jewel! The one Pokemon every freaking Go person wants! Despite how much they don't like the Pokemon itself. At last, I found one. And it's all thanks to the Go Fest. If that's not enough of a reason for you to participate in the Go Fest, I don't know what is. Unknown officially registered. Sorry. Uh, Pikachu? Oh, oh, that squirrel with the Pikachu hat. No wonder I saw some yellow. Also special. I'm here, Pika Squirtle. Squirtle Score the Chew. That's why I'll name him. Score the Chew. <laughs> Squirt a Chew. Unfortunately, I think that's a little bit more punny than I wanted. Uh, let's see. There is a ground in here. I would absolutely love to catch a ground on. But only if I can get my Go Goop over here. To participate. Oh my gosh, someone found a shiny unknown. Lucky, lucky them, lucky. There's a chance I could find one too, but 
Oh, rubbing a little salt in the wounds there, I think. Uh, quickly look at the Pokemon. There are three eggs that should have hatched already that didn't. I'm waiting for those three to go. Uh, but in the meantime, my 47 nine friends thing. Excuse me. Yoo okay, we'll have to check on that one later. Um, I've got a lot of friends I gotta go through. What is, what, what's going on? The water icons. Why are there water icons? Okay, well, I completed one of the things. You gotta catch 20 fire, water, grass tights, bow in two raids, make a new friend. Oh, credit, I need to make a new friend. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. I am very, very distracted right now. Hopefully not too distracted to keep checking on the time. I can only record 30 minutes at a time for these videos. Whew. So, yeah, I guess the rotation right now is water. That must be why we're getting all these water particles. Very nice. That means I can catch tons more Magikarps. Whoa. Only reason I care enough is because that's one of the accomplishments. To catch a bunch of freaking large, um... Magic Arps. I already forgot what they were called. That was dumb. We got a Galarian Zigzagoon. Perfect. Let's check this Squirtle. I can't remember if I caught the other one. I probably did. I'm sure I would have remembered saying something if I didn't. And there we go. Squirtle has been caught. Add that to the water type Pokemon counter. Ooh, a Loma Mola. Oh, they got one, but hey, it's one of the more uncommon rare Pokemon. So, I'm definitely gonna try to catch you now. I am doing so good. I'm better at doing the um, circle throw from the right. Because at least I have more control. From the left, I saw it way too hard. It's like I'm spinning it at the same exact speed for the most part. And it just flings a lot farther. So considering this is just focused on water Pokemon, I think the best plan is for me to make a 30 minute video of just each rotation so we start off with water but we'll go to another rotation in the next hour so based off of that I think that's when I'll record my second video I'll record on the spot if something special happens like I find a shiny Pokemon or wah! How long did it take to find this stupid golden fish? First shiny I ever tried to look for on Pokemon Go! Uh-oh. And he's being a handful. I went through that whole dang Magikarp festival for hours and hours looking for a shiny Magikarp, which was the first shiny ever had to go but finally in 2020 i caught one hooray i bet adrian is squirming right now got another a little mamola would love to find another shiny that's not another magic card let's be honest let's see if we can make that happen i know i'm going in circles i apologize for that I guess I'm just going wherever the Pokemon show up. Well, excuse you. Good thing I wasn't near there. This year is weird. Okay, Clam Pearl. 
Uh, let's see. First shiny I found today was a golden Magikarp. Kind of feels bad, but at the same time, what comes around goes around. Baby, I thought you knew. You do somebody wrong before too long. It's gonna get done to you. 360 is coming right back to you. By that I mean, after all this time, something finally good happened. I would love to find a shiny mud kit, by the way. And I would be elated if it was a female. Because my brother Ko, or Koda, is asking for a shiny female mud kit from me. Which I will pay him money for because if I'm going to do this whole shiny hunting thing for other people, I might as well get something from it. Uh, he's asking me for a shiny female mud kit. Which has been very hard to look for on Pokemon Sun. But if I can find one on Go, that would be great. Except for one itty bitty issue. I can't take Pokemon from directly from Pokemon Go and bring them to Pokemon Home. Need to go on that. Nintendo, come on! Now I can take Kanto Pokemon and Melton and Mel Metal from my phone, Pokemon Go, to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and then from Pikachu, Eevee, and Pikachu, um, I can transfer them to Pokemon Home, bring them the Sword and Shield, bada bing, bada boom, done. But that's not how this works. Okay, finally got my first present. Hopefully I haven't spun too many Poke Stops. I want to get an egg. I want to get an egg. I'm going to check to see how many eggs I have. Oh boy. Give me a sec. It's an air. That's probably not good. Okay, six out of nine eggs. So I can get more eggs. Uh, field research? Cool. <laughs> Not that important, but there you go. How long? Wow. Time's kind of a little sluggish today. Which I'm totally okay with. Uh, check the Amola Mola. Aloma. Ah, you can never say that name. Aloma Mola. Something like that. One of the more complicated names to say uh, when it comes to Pokemon names. Uh, okay. Very, still very distracted. Oh, I got a purple egg. Alright then. Let me try to get one of those. Oh my gosh. Being very stubborn. Oh, no, no, Giovanni. Go away, please. I'm looking at the unknown. To know the unknown doesn't mean that much to me. Go on all the answers, cause one thing is true. One is the other. Sorry, guys. Highly populated area. Probably why I was trying to go in circles for a while. Because some of these areas in town are have a little too many people. You know, being an introvert and whatnot. Oh uh, yeah, and the coronavirus, that's probably the more important reason, obviously. It would be good if I could at least get the 30 water type Pokemon before this video ends. That would be very good if we can make that happen. Who is trying to call on the channel? That's not what this channel's for. Crossing the street. Gotta look both ways before you cross any streets. 
All right, I think I'm safe. Got another Magikarp. They're just the easy water type Pokemon pets. Plus, like I said, I need a certain amount of extra large Magikarps. If I'm going to complete this one objective and get a fishing suit for my troubles. Yay! You know, I just kind of realized I have not been doing a good job paying attention to the eggs. Like, I've been trying to see if I have enough room for a 7k egg, but I haven't been setting it up so I can hatch these eggs. Probably gonna be a separate video by itself, maybe. Cause you never know, I might finally hatch a shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Pokemon Masters, oh my gosh, that's already done. Three eggs in and I get a shiny Tauros. Hope you guys saw that clip, because uh, <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that. I thought I was hatching bug type Pokemon, but I forgot what I was doing and then a shiny Tauros popped up. Pretty darn epic, if you ask me. Uh, all right. Let me look at friends again, really. Oh wait, I think it was trying to do something. Shoot. Uh, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll see if it does anything. No? Gosh dang it. Okay, well, let me start setting up these eggs. I bought a lot of incubators. I have well overdone the things I need to do to prepare for this event. Probably a little too obsessive, let's be honest. But, I did it. No, Giovanni, I don't want to fight you. I want the match card by your feet. Nope, it's gone. Never mind. Never mind, it's gone. Rip the dream. Well, this is a lot more of an open area. Right on the water. Right by the docks underneath the bridge. I like coming here sometimes. It's a lot more quieter and it's just a nice walk overall. Come on, throw. Oh my gosh. Not much word from my bay leaf though. I do have them at the right level, right? Hmm. No. Let me just double check that. Double quadruple check. Yeah, yeah, he's he's fine. There he is. <laughs> Whoops. Oh yeah. Check the eggs again. I could put this one in the incubator. I'm waiting on the green ones until I can use my free incubator. Although, if I go to the shop, I have lots of money. Oh, you guys really don't want to know how much I spent on this game just for this event, and I refuse to tell it to anyone. That is for me to always know, and for me to always regret. Okay, uh, maybe not that one. Let's just do some egg incubators. One, two, and three. Perfect. Ooh. I forgot what the Pokemon's called, but I saw one. It's not Lantern. I think it's Chinchow. I think that was how you pronounce it. Oh no, it changed into Poliwag. Rip. I'm not going fast enough. I'm so distracted. In case you can't already tell. Ooh, Gibble! Gibble, 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 Gibble! That's worth it. That's worth it. 
I do not have a guard chomp yet, so that's worth it. Gotta wear the mask again. <sighs> Good thing I have water and a fan. Although the squirter on the fan doesn't work very well. Okay, blast toys fine. Let's see what you're about. And give myself a certain amount of times so I can try to catch you. <sighs> Man, I hate foot traffic sometimes. Whew. Oh my gosh. Less than 30 minutes in and I'm already winded. That's not a good sign. But like I said, I am prepared. Thank you. I got food, I got water, I got a way to cool off. I'm wearing cool clothes, I got sunscreen. What more do I need? Let me know in the comments. This is a very stubborn blast toys. And I'm not sure I'm happy about all the ultra balls and raspberries I'm wasting on him. Whew. It is not easy to breathe with this stupid mask. <sighs> not easy. Especially when you're breathing hard. There we go. Nice one, Chicory. Nice one. Oh my gosh. You know what? Not worth it. Not worth it. Think about all the unknown and possible other shiny Pokemon I've missed because... I've been dealing with this blast toys. Not worth it. Including the magic card. Community question. Do you want me to play magic card jump again? That's the community question. I know I stopped playing that for a while. I had ideas of what I was going to do with that quote unquote let's play. But I got kind of stuck on playing other stuff like go and then complaining about go and then complaining about my phone and yeah 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 you don't want to hear it but <laughs> anyways I'm going to take a breather like I said I think it would be best unless something happens like I get into a raid against ground on or I find a shiny pokemon that I keep these videos I'm making today and tomorrow for Pokemon Go not quite as bloated as I was originally doing. You know what? I'm gonna throw some pineapple berries at you. I already forgot I was going after Gibble. <sighs> I slowed down for quite a bit. Let's see what's happening. Kyogre, sorry, no. I mean, maybe if you invite me, but my priorities are on Groundon. Groundon and Rayquaza. Although Rayquaza, it sounds like, will be coming much later, so long as I complete the research task for today. I'm more than happy to do. Speaking of which, let's claim that water type award. It's a freaking Blastoise. Are you kidding me? He came back. Mm. Give me a sec. I forgot I was kind of near a big event. Oops. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my gosh. Can this wait, Blastoise? Can this wait? Oh! 
Oh, I thought he broke out. I mean, he did, but I thought that the Pokeball didn't actually him. I'm gonna guess Bayleaf helped. I'm going to guess Chicory. What was that, though? There we go. Yep, Chicory is helping. Woo! Good job, Chicory. Ugh. I'm gonna sit down. Ooh. Oh, my glasses almost fell off the side of my head. Ooh. It's gonna be a long day. Long, exciting day, but still. Oh, that gibble. Oh. Well, uh, I'm going to have to record that separately or not at all. Oh, well, I'm going to face off against the gibble. At least I'll be one raid down. Just one more to go. Hopefully, it will be a bit against the ground then. B A B. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We the play. Enjoy your day. It's going to be a long one. Take care out there, and I will catch you later.